Hi everyone. Um, welcome. It's um, Wednesday afternoon here in the Bay Area. I'm Dr. Prabhakar and um, from the Fibroid Doc and I wanted to share some quick anatomical pearls with you. But before that, I wanted to ask a quick question. So have you ever um, not done something or not approached something in life because your understanding of it was actually different or you, or it meant or you thought it meant something than it actually did? Um, let me give you an example. So, you know, maybe a decade ago when I learned about acupuncture, I was like, oh my goodness, they're going to like puncture my skin with these needles. And um, that just sounds super painful. And why would anyone do that? And I was like, really, you know, kind of against acupuncture until I actually talked to somebody who had acupuncture and um, then decided to experience it and um, realized, oh, this is actually like really not bad. It doesn't hurt. Um, and it has all these benefits. And then I actually came to love it so much. I did acupuncture during my pregnancy and you know anytime i had musculoskeletal issues going on um i really understood what it meant and came to embrace it and had it work for me in a very positive way so um this is not about acupuncture but um i wanted to i use the example to kind of uh, tell you what happens when i mention the word hysterectomy uh, to patients in my office right when i when i mentioned the word hysterectomy a lot of eyes kind of glaze over and people immediately start saying, oh my goodness, like I'm less of a woman if I have a hysterectomy or, oh no, I'm going to go to menopause and, um, you know, my life is going to be so different and why would I do that? Can you please like give me some other treatments? Um, and this I think is a very important topic because there is so much misconception around some anatomical terms and there's just misunderstanding around it. So I just wanted to spend a few minutes clarifying it. So this misunderstanding exists among patients and also among some uh, physicians who are not gynecologists. Um, so a hysterectomy just means removal of the uterus okay and the uterus is a smooth muscle that is used to carry a baby um, so it doesn't really have any other functions including hormones right so the, so the uterus does not give you estrogen the uterus does not give you any hormonal input into your body and so it is a vessel for carrying a baby that's all it is so when we say hysterectomy it means removing the uterus when we say total hysterectomy it means removing the uterus and the cervix, okay? And the cervix is the entrance to the uterus, and I'm gonna show you this model right here. Um, this, this is the cervix, okay, this little part here, and this is where your doctor would do a pap smear um, to check for cervical cancer or abnormal cells of the cervix. And then this part right here is the uterus, okay? So this is where people bleed from, this is where you get your periods from, um, fibroids can grow in here. So when we're talking about a hysterectomy, we are talking just about removing this portion. When we're talking about a total hysterectomy, we are talking about removing this and this cervix, okay? This is the vagina. So we're talking about removing the cervix and the uterus. When we talk about a subtotal hysterectomy, that means removing, again, just the uterus. So a subtotal hysterectomy or a hysterectomy is the uterus and a total hysterectomy is the uterus plus the cervix, okay? Notice how I have not mentioned the ovaries at all, okay? So a hysterectomy has nothing to do with the ovaries. Um, the ovaries are the... Um, structures right here, the white structures right here, that actually give you estrogen and that play um, a role in hormonal um, regulation in your body. So if you didn't have ovaries, you would essentially have, uh, you, you would go into menopause. Okay, so when we talk about hysterectomy, we are only talking about removing the uterus and or the cervix. We are not talking about removing the ovaries at all. I just wanted to clarify that because a lot of women with bleeding, and um you know heavy periods and fibroids are are so scared to do a hysterectomy because they think it means removing the ovaries and then they're going to go into menopause but it actually has nothing to do with removing the ovaries 
Now, if you are above a certain age, usually 60, 65, your physician and surgeon may decide to remove the ovaries anyway because you've probably passed menopause at that point. The average age of menopause is 52 and you're not really getting too much um, benefit at this point from the ovaries. So uh, so that is a whole different conversation. Okay, so uh, just to summarize, the three main points that I want you to take away from this session right here is hysterectomy is removal of the uterus, total hysterectomy is removal of the uterus and the cervix, and the uterus does not give you estrogen. Estrogen is given by your ovaries. Um, so I hope this was beneficial to you. Please tag a friend who needs to hear this. Um, and uh, please um, follow me on Instagram or on YouTube, The Fibroid Doc, for um, more educational videos. And I hope uh, this has been educational for you. And please talk to your doctor um, for specific medical advice. And um, hopefully this, is, this has been helpful. Take care, everyone. Bye.